Rockstars and welcome to Quilting Rockstar Graduation. My name is Holly Ann Knight of String and Story and I am so incredibly excited to welcome you to, I'm honestly not even sure which graduation we're on at the moment. I know that um, there have been eight cohorts, so I'm thinking it's graduation number nine, but whichever one it is, I am thrilled to welcome you here and I am so excited to officially be here and kick off this party. So without further ado, I'm trying to be fancy today and I am <laughs> um, using my phone and my laptop. So look at us go. How does it look? Can y'all see it? Bum, ba, da, ba. Yes. Okay. I will have to toggle back and forth a little bit in order to see your comments, but do please keep those comments coming because I am so very excited to welcome all of you. So as we are kicking off, welcome Mary, Carolyn, Rhonda, Christina, Joe, Joanne, Sue, Donnell, Patricia, Cindy, Deanna, Cheryl, Marie, Kim, Elizabeth, Norma, Debbie. Oh, Debbie is wearing her Rockstar t-shirt. I love that. Carol, S. Kaiser, Carrie, Charlotte, Valerie. Oh my gosh, I see my Aussies here. I'm so glad you're here. Good morning or good afternoon and congratulations, everyone. Let us kick this off without further ado. So today is the fall 2021 Free Motion Quilting Academy graduation the final Academy graduation of the year. So before we officially announce this cohort's graduates, I wanna take a moment to reflect on the qualities of a quilting rock star. The quilting rock stars who are graduating with us this afternoon have demonstrated a willingness to do the work to make progress on their quilting skills. They've also shown a dedication to giving themselves grace when the practice gets messy. As many of you who are quilters know, free motion quilting is one of those things that we sometimes tell ourselves a lot of stories about. And on top of free motion quilting sometimes having a reputation as being difficult, right? It is also just always a challenge to learn a brand new skill. And these rock stars stepped up and did the work to do just that. These rock stars have demonstrated joy in celebrating accomplishments and finished projects. And that includes celebrating all the milestones along the way throughout their journey. Some of these rock stars started on their Free Motion Quilting Academy journey just back in August or September of this year. Some of these rock stars had been working towards this milestone for a year or more. And so we are here to make a whole lot of hoopla about it. These quilting rock stars have demonstrated a commitment in encouraging others on their journey. Going through Free Motion Quilting Academy is very much a group affair and something that you do with your fellow students and you cheer for one another and you lift each other up, you help each other out. And seeing these rock stars do that day in and day out has been nothing but a joy. And finally, these rock stars delight in quilting community and camaraderie. And that includes a sense of humor, um, a willingness to be vulnerable about being nervous about different parts of this journey, um, celebrating all of those wins, et cetera. So before we jump in, let me jump over to the comments. I'm so excited to have seen all of these qualities in, this rock, in these rock stars. And it is always an absolute delight to get to actually celebrate live together virtually, albeit, as you can see, we have our celebratory balloons hanging out here. Each of the rock stars who's graduating today is going to receive their enamel Free Motion Quilting Academy pen that you only get by completing this class. And of course, we will be popping a little bit of bubbly before the afternoon is up. So let us admire the work of these gorgeous rock stars. First up, Alice Owen Clove. Congratulations, rock star. Allison Callahan, congratulations. Also, look at how this is a perfect seasonal little moment here. Amber Lowland, congratulations. I love your birds. Um, Anita Lee, congratulations, rock star. And Scott, beautiful work. Barbara Bloom, absolutely stunning. Now y'all, as we're going through, I do just wanna point out, so we've already seen, I'm gonna go back to the beginning because I'm excited and I'm going quickly. I want you to see from Alice all the way through already in just a few projects, notice how different and beautiful each of these amazing final projects are. These quilting rock stars who are graduating today were given the challenge of two final projects. They needed to complete a sampler. That's gonna be the squares that you're seeing um, up there. And we do 30 motifs inside of Free Motion Quilting Academy. And each of those motifs makes an appearance on the sampler. They're also asked to complete a whole cloth quilt, which is the size of a fat quarter or a little bit larger of their own design. Congratulations again, Barbara. 
Congratulations, Bernadette. Oh my gosh, I love that we're gonna get to see quilt helpers in some of your photos. Beth Chandler, congratulations. Now, as I was saying, as we go through, you're gonna see, congratulations, Carol, that each of these rock stars, their whole cloth project especially is a little bit different. Now, first, actually, before we even get to the whole cloth, please notice as we congratulate Carol Hales, way to go, rock star, that the samplers, while given very specific and very similar instructions, right? Even just the samplers are going to look very different from rock star to rock star. But when it comes to our whole cloth projects, I asked these rock stars to do two things. I said, I want you um, to design this whole cloth. I want to share something special about you. Think about something meaningful to you and incorporate that into your whole cloth. And then I want you to show off. You've been working at minimum for 12 weeks towards this very moment. And I want you to show that hard work in your whole cloth. Congratulations, Carolyn Garland. Congratulations, Carrie Meth. Congratulations, Karen Pryor. I love elephants. I love that you chose an elephant. Congratulations, Charlotte Sherman. Oh, fun. Look at your bear. Is it is it a bear or is it um like a yeti or in between? Because I love it. And it could it could be a cute, it could be a cute yeti or a cute bear. And I love it. Cheryl Holden, congratulations. Cindy Anderson, congrats, Rockstar. Cindy Hartley, congratulations. Also, I'm obsessed with the colors in your whole cloth. Way to go. So what you're going to see with these whole cloths as we continue to go through these graduates today is that each one is very different and it reflects the rock star that made it. And I love that I can hand almost a hundred rock stars the same set of directions for both the sampler and the whole cloth, and we get to see your personalities and your skills shine. I'm gonna pause and just peek at the comments real quick. All these congratulations, I love it. Way to go. Congratulations, Christina. Congratulations, Cindy. Congratulations, Danielle. Let's see, what is it? Lydia, oh, Danielle, now I have questions about who Lydia is. If that's a story you're willing to share, will you include that in the chat for us? Congratulations, Donnell. Oh, I love how your whole cloth turned out. Donnell has been iterating and iterating and iterating her whole cloth inside the Free Motion Quilting Academy Facebook group, and I love seeing that. Congratulations, Deanna. Y'all, it is so fun for me as we're having graduation right now to be getting to put faces with your names. This is so exciting. Congratulations, Debbie. Congratulations, Debbie Peterson. Action comps fear. Oh, so Debbie has captured one of our favorite sayings from the Free Motion Quilting Academy Facebook group. And we have these little reminders for each other, right? As we're going along this journey, I mentioned that I handed these rock stars the same set of directions and that I love seeing how different all of their projects come out, right? And in part, that's because one, we're all very different people, but I like to think of free motion quilting a little bit like handwriting, right? And we all basically start out in school learning the same methods of printing. And yet by adulthood, we all have very different styles of writing. And free motion quilting is exactly the same way. And I love seeing your distinctions as you're making your projects. I also love seeing how common phrases that we have as a community um, can serve different people that even though we're all so different, we can have these kind of core values. And one of those that we emphasize a lot inside the Academy Facebook group is action calms fear. I love that. Debbie Spears, congratulations. Deb Contreras, congratulations, rock star. Deborah Edwards, congratulations, rock star. Oh, I love all your colors as well. I love how some rock stars choose to show off with lots of different motifs. Some rock stars choose to show up with lots of different thread colors. Some of y'all are using both. I am here for all of it. Congratulations, Deborah Hoadley. Congratulations, Deborah McAteer. I also am loving all these Deborahs. My mom's name is Deborah, so absolutely fabulous. Congratulations, Deborah. I'm gonna mess up your last name, Deborah G. Please forgive me. And wow, I love your puppy portrait. That's amazing. Congratulations, De Deborah M, uh, M. Congratulations, Donna Whitney. Congratulations, Ellen O'Grady. 
Congratulations, Fiona Blake. Oh, I love the detail on here. <laughs> Y'all just see your creativity. It blows me away every single time. Congratulations, Henriette. Say when your um, project came in, I happened to open the email before Heather even had organized everything. And I just jumped out of my skin with joy because I love this. She believed she could, so she did. You know, as a business owner, I do a lot of personal development work in order to continue to grow the person so I can grow the company and be a good leader and all of these things. And one of the things that one of my coaches has been talking about a lot lately is the power of belief that we have to believe something is possible first before we can actually take steps towards it. And for those of you who might be here with us this afternoon who have not yet taken Free Motion Quilting Academy, or maybe you're in the academy and you've kind of gotten stuck, right? Maybe you've hit some bumps in the road of your journey. Um, it's a core value in Free Motion Quilting Academy that we are all on our individual journeys. And while I take 12 week cohorts through the class, once you're in the class, you are in, and you get to take your time uh, building your skills on a timeline that works for you, right? But that doesn't mean we don't hit bumps in the road. So maybe you're here and you've been thinking about doing Free Motion Quilting Academy, or you're just learning about it and you're intrigued, or you're in the academy, but you've hit some of those bumps in the road, right? I hope that today will serve as an inspiration for you, that if you have a little, a little IMG, as we call it, that inner mean grump, that inner critical voice that's saying, I could never learn to do this. I could never do final projects like this. Many of the rock stars graduating today felt the same way at the beginning of their journeys, but they believed they could, and so they did. Congratulations, Jeanette Smith. Congratulations, Jenna Taylor. Oh, that's stunning. I love your giraffes. Congratulations, Joanne Smith. Congratulations, Joan Thole. I love your thread painting. Uh, again interpretations and creativity here for all of it congratulations joe thomas i hope this christmas tree is hanging pride of place right now congratulations julia torney congratulations julie choate congratulations julie miller i love the ombre on your sampler so cool congratulations justine lott congratulations karen register Cool fabric choice. And I love, oh, we've had so many beautiful iterations of hummingbirds over the years, and I love seeing them every single time. Stunning work. Congratulations, Karen Roberts. Congratulations, Carmel Sowers. Oh, Carmel, it's so fun to put a face with your name. Congratulations, Karen Hurd. Congratulations, Kathleen Figgy. Congratulations, Kathy Reynolds. Congratulations, Kim Brown. Congratulations, Krista Marvin. Congratulations, Lillian Finley. Ooh, she got fancy in here. I love it. Congratulations, Linda Gibson. Here's something that I love too, right? We're talking about uh, differences in interpretations. I love how some of y'all rock stars are color people and some of y'all rock stars are neutrals people. And I, sometimes it's just really apparent, like what your preference is. And I think both are so stunning. Congratulations, Lindsay Henderson. Congratulations, Lisa Crow. Lisa, oh my goodness. Lisa, I'm hoping I'm getting this story correct because it's gonna be very embarrassing if I didn't. Um, but Lisa and I, no, I'm getting it correct because you came to Fall Festival. And getting to meet in person and any opportunity that I get to meet you rock stars in person just delights my whole soul. So this is so fun to get to see your sampler and your final project. And as a complete and total aside, if any of y'all are going to be at QuiltCon in Phoenix, I hope I'll get to meet a lot of you in person in February. Congratulations, Lori Giles. Congratulations, Lorraine Goss. Oh, my happy place. That's absolutely perfect. I love it. Congratulations, Luann Manning. Oh, what a stunning poinsettia. I love that. Congratulations, Marcy Marlowe. Oh, the bears. Oh. Okay, so another thing. You've all been handed the same directions, right? So we have, we have our neutrals people and our colors people. I'm also loving that we tend to have our high contrast thread people and our low contrast thread people, right? And these are, these are just 
differences of personal preference, right? And I love seeing how little differences in personal preference just change up work and just change up different themes and getting to see you put a little bit of yourselves down on this fabric. Oh, it's absolutely stunning. Congratulations, Margot Little. Congratulations, Mary Lou Roshart. Congratulations, Maureen Maloney. Congratulations, Meta Bonnell. Oh, Meta, yay! Congratulations, Missy Kremen. Congratulations, Nancy Bradford. Look at the feathers on your bird. That is so cool. Congratulations, Nancy Duff. All right, I got to pause. I got to see the chat. What's the chat? Look at these. Congratulations to my amazing mother, Nancy Duff. You are absolutely a quilting rock star. Look at this. I'm so very proud to be your son and get to be here for your graduation. I am so here for this. All right, Keith. You are definitively getting extra presents at Christmas. That's amazing. Thank you for coming out and supporting your mama. Oh, I love, love, love. Meta says third time was the charm for me to graduate. Okay, this is so perfect. Because remember, I shared with you that it's a key value inside the academy that we get to be on our own journeys. And I love that. And I love that Meta has gotten to work at the pace that has served her. As we all know, the last couple of years have been a ride. And I think life in general is a ride, right? It's just been extra. It's been a little extra the last couple of years. And so I love that you've been able to work at your own pace and I'm so excited to celebrate you today. I'm just scanning through, I can't miss all the fun. And Heather's here, Heather's across the room. She's gonna come pop some champagne with us in a few minutes. Aren't they beautiful, Sue? So Sue has been here for many graduations. And I, I feel like every year we just get to see a whole new twist put on these final projects, don't you think, Sue? And I love it. I love it every time. Congratulations, Norman Neal. Congratulations, Pam Littner. Congratulations, Pat Mahoney. Admiring her carrot ring. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. Wait, Pat, did we get two from you? This is delightful. How fun. Congrats. Congratulations, Rhonda Stevenson. Congratulations, Roxanne Rump. Congrats, Sally Craig. Oh, and you put your placemat too. Okay, so Sally quilted a set of the Quilting Rockstar Winter Placemats. That's what's in the upper right here. It's also a whole cloth, technically speaking. Um, oh, how fun, Sally. I love that so much. Congratulations, Sandra Given. Congratulations, Sandra Lynch. Congratulations, Sarah Jackman. Look at your continuous curves. Those are stunning. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Congratulations, Sharon Dawson. Sharon, look at your different colors of thread. So cool. Congratulations, Sharon Dernheim. I love, I love, here's another thing I love. There's many things I love, and I just have to gush about them as we go through, because that's what this is, right? We are gushing as rock stars. Um, I love having graduations at different times of the year. And so we get to see a little bit of seasonality come in, right? We've had spring graduations. We've had summer graduations. We've had winter graduations. And I always enjoy seeing some little uh, seasonal themes mix in. Congratulations, Sarah, Cheryl Kaiser. Please note how Cheryl was like, okay, okay, I have to do 30 squares. I'm getting V creative with my 30 squares for my sampler. I like it. Congratulations, Stacey Sharp. I'm going to pause for these sirens, y'all, because it's about to be really loud. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm going to take a sip of water. Brace yourselves. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations, Stephanie Scriven. Stephanie, I'm not, not even going to joke about how in awe of your whole cloth I am. What stunning, stunning, stunning work. I love it. Congratulations, Susan Simon. Congratulations, Suzanne Fryer. Oh, Suzanne, I remember your email. So Suzanne, if I remember correctly, you can correct me in the comments if I mess this up. Suzanne said that her mom's favorite ride at Disney was a small world and that she was totally fascinated with this little scene. And it, am I remembering this correctly? It was either you or your mom, right? Um, and I think that it's absolutely beautiful to capture all the colors and detail. That's so cool. Congratulations, Suzanne Hutchinson. 
Congratulations, Terry Garrison, which y'all, I should have said this long before now, like truly should have started this at the top. As I'm going through, I mentioned that I asked each of you to incorporate part of yourselves into your whole cloth. If there truly is a story like that behind your whole cloth, drop it in the comments. Even if we've already gone past your name, drop it in the comments. Tell us the story of your work. Congratulations, Teresa Wismer. Congratulations, Valerie Searle. Love that high contrast thread. I'm a sucker for high contrast thread. I gotta be honest. Congratulations, Veronica Chin. Congratulations, Vicki DeGraw. And I look at the difference in the front and back of her sampler here. Oh, I think I've reached the end of my first slide deck. Look at that. All right, let me come over here. I'm gonna go full screen for a second. This is so exciting. And let me see. Bum, bum, bum. I love this. Henriette, Henriette says, congratulations to everyone. Those who will graduate in the future, keep calm and FMQ on. I love it so much. And there's more of you to graduate. Fear not. I have a few more names. I'm just taking a moment here. Lillian Finley says, congratulations, everyone. Beautiful work. And Sarah says, impressed with everyone's projects. And then Venetia says, well done, everyone. Maybe next year for me. So Venetia, we're cheering for you. We are cheering for you. Next graduation, maybe. Does that sound exciting? All right, let me get my next. Do, do, do. I got to get my next slide deck all queued up, y'all. Because there were too many of y'all to fit in one Canvas slide deck. Did you know that? There's a limit on the number of slides that I can do. Ba, 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 part two. Yes, that is correct, I believe. Here we go. All right, our last few rock stars today. Congratulations, Wanda Williams. And congratulations, Whitney Mask. Absolutely stunning work. Y'all, we have got to pop the champagne. These rock stars have exhibited stunning work. You've gotten to see just a snippet of their journey this afternoon. And it is absolutely amazing to me what some of y'all have accomplished, whether it be in 12 weeks, or in many more weeks than that, regardless of how long you've been in this journey, your accomplishment is phenomenal. And I am so proud of each of you. So without further ado, we forgot the confetti poppers upstairs, but we got champagne. That's okay. The confetti poppers didn't do great when we tested them yesterday. <laughs> we were going to try y'all, but we are going to pop some champagne. Without further ado, I am so, so, so excited to declare each of you graduating today absolutely a free motion quilting rock star. And y'all, even before I pop this, I wanna tell you, I'm gonna be making sure that these slide decks get up. I want you to go through, I want you to go through and linger over them and just soak in the gorgeous work that these rock stars have done. So my dear rock stars, without further ado, I gotta full screen this. Y'all gotta see this in, in, big, in biggie screen, right? Congratulations! Almost made a mess. That would have been bad. Oh no, we might still make a mess. <laughs> so, rock stars, cheers to you! <laughs> Do you want some more that's not just bubbles? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! Congratulations! Congratulations! I hope you literally are popping some bubbly with us. Oh my goodness, Mary Lou. Mary Lou says. It was so much fun to do this with you all. Mary Lou, it is a delight. And in fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you all more about the Academy in a moment. But let me tell you what, um, without giving away too many secrets yet, we did the Academy three times in 2021. Such a joy to get to go through three cohorts in this year. Um, I thought we were only going to do one cohort next year. Spoiler, there will in fact be more than one. I'm not telling you when yet because that is still a secret. Um, but the reason for that is because Mary Lou, it's such a delight for me as well to go through the Academy and bring more rock stars into our delightful rock star family. Oh my goodness. Yes. I agree. All of y'all have done such wonderful work. So, oh, let me share my screen again. Ba -ba -da -ba. So as I'm drinking my bubbly here, Congratulations on all of your hard work and becoming a free motion quilting rock star. For those of you who are here that I mentioned earlier that maybe you haven't gone on this journey yet and you're sitting here, you're feeling inspired. 
I hope you are feeling inspired. I want to share a little bit more about this journey with you and how you can become a confident free motion quilting rock star too. And that, of course, is inside the Free Motion Quilting Academy. This is my signature online course that starts at the very beginning with tension and supplies and doodling and all of the foundations. And we go on a 12-week journey from being nervous beginner free motion quilters to confident intermediate free motion quilters. And that is the journey that the rock stars you have just met have been on. And whatever hesitations you may be sitting here with right now, I guarantee you that they had them as well. Now, I wanted to share a few words with you from a few recent grads. These were graduates that have um, passed through the academy and graduated to full FMQ Rockstar status in 2021. I want to share their words because they honestly are going to speak best to what the academy is and the impact that it has and how fun of a journey it is. Those of you who are here this afternoon who have graduated, it would be such a delight to me. If you would drop in the comments your favorite part about Free Motion Quilting Academy as I'm reading these stories out loud. So Binti shares, I love the Academy and the course gave me so many skills and tools to become a confident quilter. I had done meanders before but wanted to learn a few more free motion motifs. Now I have a great toolbox which I can use on everything and the extra bonus was how to make quilting plans. I'm very happy and grateful with what I have learned. Working at my own pace on my own time has been very much needed in order to complete the sampler and the whole cloth. Thank you, Holly Ann. Therese shares, as a newbie quilter with lots of new piece tops, I didn't realize that many quilters sent out their quilts to be finished. So I bought a Juki TL 2010Q and decided I'd learn how to quilt my own quilts. This course gave me the tools and confidence to feel comfortable in completing a quilt from start to finish. I found the Facebook group to be super beneficial in staying connected and accountable. So much more fun to learn with peers and cheer each other along our FMQ journey. I also appreciate how the two final projects were so different, presenting the various motifs on a large quilt and then stretching our imagination and creativity with the whole cloth quilt were worthwhile and valuable experiences. Now I have two quilts to truly treasure. Thank you so much, Holly Ann. This is a fantastic course that I would highly recommend to any quilter interested in becoming better at FMQ. Thank you, Therese. And then Brenda says, this was an outstanding course. I had my doubts about feathers, but with Holly Ann's guidance and encouragement from the Facebook group, I was able to stick with it and finish. I'm so thrilled to be able to finish my own quilts with confidence now. The main reason I enrolled in this course was for the accessibility and the no pressure to finish with this cohort policy. Absolutely. As a former jazz and size instructor, I love that you stress the importance of good posture, taking stretch breaks and hydrating. Sitting for too long can wreak havoc with the body. I still exercise daily with online programs and walk, hiking and walking around the neighborhood. I wasn't able to do any of the live Q&As, but I learned a lot from watching the replays. A friend of mine enrolled for the next cohort based on my rave reviews and the ability to take her time. Thank you, Holly Ann, for sharing your talent and wisdom with us. So before I jump into, oh, it's getting ahead of me. Before I jump into this, let me see your, oh, we are going to be here for a minute. All right, hang on. I got to pull these down. Because listen, sharing stories is my favorite part of this. I love the huzzah, huzzah. I agree, huzzah, huzzah. Um, de, let's see, Bonnie says, you have all done wonderful work. I wholeheartedly agree. Debbie says, thank you, Hack. This was life-changing. Oh, that, just, yes, I love you. <laughs> it's such an honor to get to guide these courses. My goodness. Joanne says, I learned so much. I'm so proud of myself. FMQA got me through the last few months crazy. <laughs> Anne says, I was hoping you would do the next cohort in January. I want to finish this year. Oh, Anne, don't worry. More soon. <laughs> Carolyn says, how many rock stars do you have? Um, that's a good question. I think about 3,000 people have taken FMQA. We average about 100 to 150 per graduation at this point. They built up a little bit over time. I don't know the uh, final number, but there are many, many, many of you at this point, Carolyn. Great question. Rhonda says, I lived in Atlanta for 37 years. And it took me moving to Oklahoma to find you. Can't wait to come visit my son and I'll stop by. Rhonda, that would be so exciting. Whitney says, thank you so much. Celebrating at home with my whole family. I'm loving the graduation hat. That feels very on par. <laughs> Susan says, love the teaching in Free Motion Quilting Academy. Hack is an amazing teacher. More practice for a future graduation. Yes, Susan, keep going, keep going. 
Valerie says, I love it. Donnell says, my favorite part was the supportive atmosphere. Everyone was so supportive of each other and it was great. Lillian says, my favorite part of the academy was not only learning 30 quilting motifs, but the support and camaraderie of, favor of fellow quilters. Henriette says, my favorite part of FMQA, the encouragement and self-directed pacing and seeing the kind of growth I can achieve even in my 70s. Henriette, I had a conversation with one of my coaches yesterday that I was like, you know, sometimes, sometimes I tease that quilting is the cover story around here. I'm passionate about quilting and I'm passionate about teaching quilting. But Henriette, what I love even more is getting to be on this journey of growth with you. And I think that is so special. Thank you so much for choosing me to be your teacher. Joanne says, I love the quality of the lessons and the support of everyone. Absolutely loved everyone involved. So much love and support. Yes. Oh, Sue. Sue is quite our rock star cheerleader. And she says, my favorite parts of FMQ, FMQA, so many quilting friends, so much encouragement, so much humor, and so much access. <laughs> but it's all just so much. You know, we are around here very much the most. We pride ourselves in being the most, and we love being the most for and with you. So I'm here for it. <laughs> Debbie says, my favorite part was the nurturing vibe, and I was able to learn at my pace with no judgment or pressure. Carolyn says, my favorite part was the enthusiasm of everyone and moral support. Lisa says, this has been an amazing journey. I'm so proud of myself and everyone else. The bonus was meeting you and Heather in person. Practice makes project progress is my new mantra. Yes. You know what? I have another new mantra I got to share with y'all. I haven't shared this yet. Um, I stole this one from Robin Arson. She's one of the Peloton instructors that I love. And her, one of the mantras she recently shared is, I want it more than I fear it. My jaw has been on the floor for weeks over that one. Woo! That is very akin to action cures fear. You know what I mean? Vicky says... My favorite is working through all the motifs with the support of everyone else working on their samplers. Yes, yes, yes. And Carmel says, I feel confident enough to quilt a quilt of valor. That is incredible, Carmel. Way to go. So just to give you a little bit more of an overview of, Academ of the Academy before we wrap up our super fun celebration, uh, Free Motion Quilting Academy is a proven method. Inside the Academy, we build on the lessons from the master classes I teach leading up to it with 12 weeks of step-by-step -step video lessons designed to help you grow from a nervous beginner to a confident intermediate free motion quilting rock star. And y'all, I'm gonna be honest right now as I throw this up for you, um, we do not have an announced uh, enrollment date yet. So I would love to invite you to join the wait list for Free Motion Quilting Academy. If you are here and you are curious about it, we will be having a graduation in um, early 2022. In early 2022, we're also going to tell you more about when we're going to do our next enrollment. But for right now, I want to be totally transparent with you about what's included and what it's going to cost so that you can start saving and preparing if you know that this is your next step. All right. So Free Motion Quilting Academy is an incredibly valuable course. It includes six professionally recorded video units, teaching you all the ins and outs of FMQ from setup to how to stitch over two dozen motifs. It also includes a bonus unit about how to make quilting plans and a newly updated 50 page course workbook and access to the exclusive Facebook group that we keep making reference to. And as I've said many times, it includes lifetime access to all of the above so that um, you can work at your own pace. Heather's writing me a note. Hold, please. <laughs> Wait, which ones did I miss? I miss some of you. This is unacceptable. Hold, please. We're going to go back and find them. <laughs> First slide deck. What did I miss? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. And we're going to find who we missed because we are not leaving any rock stars behind. We didn't leave y'all behind yet. And we're not starting now. <laughs> is it at the beginning still? Oh, wait, glitch. We had a glitch. Oh. Cindy, okay, hang on. And then where do I need to find our other rock star? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Pat Wells. Okay, we're going, we got this rock stars. <laughs> you know what I love about having a team and having Heather here is that she can fuss at me if I miss something because we don't, it is unacceptable for us to leave any rock stars behind. All right, let me share my screen properly before we go back. Let's see, window. 
Thank you so much, Heather. And whoever hollered in the chat to make sure that we did not miss you, thank you. That we we love, love, love being assertive for ourselves. Cindy Rodemer, congratulations, Rockstar. Fabulous work. I am so excited to get to celebrate you. And then we had one of our pats. I'm gonna give y'all a quick scroll back through here. Ba, 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 ba. Just take a moment as I'm scrolling and take in again the incredible work that these rock stars have done. We need our other pat. Do, 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 do. Y'all, I'm over here talking my head off and I look over and see Pat Wells. That's, that's right, correct? Yes, Pat Wells, congratulations. I'm so thrilled to congratulate you on being a quilting rock star. Oh, excellent. All right, we are not leaving anyone behind. All right, I'm gonna pause before I go back into my other slide deck and keep talking about the Academy. Did I miss anybody in my slide decks? Because I wanna make sure that I did not leave you behind. Mary says, the supportive atmosphere made this a wonderful journey. Look forward to meeting you in February at QuiltCon, Mary. I cannot wait. I cannot wait, I cannot wait. Yay, yay, yay. Brilliant. All right. I'm going to jump right back in. So I'm over here running my mouth and I realize Heather's frantically writing me a note. So thank God for Heather, y'all, because we do not want any rock stars not fully celebrated for how incredible you are. So as I mentioned, Free Motion Quilting Academy includes these amazing things. Some of our rock stars started dropping in the chat how valuable they found different aspects of this course. So I share this with you today because I want to invite you to jump over to stringandstory.com forward slash FMQ Academy when we finish up here and get on the wait list. We're going to be enrolling not too long from now, but I'm sworn to secrecy on the dates. Don't want to get fussed at since it's not uh, officially announced yet, but it's going to be coming very soon. And that's why I want to make sure that I share with you the tuition rates and everything that's going to be included. So Free Motion Quilting Academy allows you to learn FMQ from the privacy and comfort of your own home. It encourages you to start with what you have, keeping supplies minimal and affordable rather than urging you to buy a fancier machine. It, it is ready when you are, regardless of geography or time zone with on-demand pre-recorded video lessons. And it offers you ongoing access to the instructor, howdy, so that you never feel alone or stuck and you can get near real-time help with our live streamed Q&A sessions. And of course, it connects you to other rock stars in training around the world so that you can help and encourage each other. So one last story from Kayla that I want to share. Kayla says, free motion quilting was always something that seemed way too scary for me to even try. The fast needle movement, having to be able to take freehand uh, having to freehand a design and not being perfect like in computer were all major discouragements. I followed Holly Ann for the last little bit, just trying to justify the cost to myself and getting the courage just to try it. And after hearing that you had a professional team come in and shoot this latest set of videos and convincing myself to do scary things, I signed up. The whole course was professionally done and really well put together. Besides the sampler, I have free motion quilted four other quilts with four different all over designs. Loopy Meander, swore, uh, Square Spirals, Wood Grain, and Paisley Swirls. That's exactly what I wanted to be able to do after the course. Money so well spent. Thank you, Holly Ann and team, for adding so much energy to this process and having an infectious excitement over it all. I will recommend this course to anyone who wants to learn free motion quilting. I now have the free motion quilting bug and can't wait to try out other designs on my own. So if you are here today and you're going, this is amazing. These rock stars are amazing. I want to be able to finish my own quilts. I never thought it was possible, but now I truly believe that it could be. Then I want to invite you to join the Free Motion Quilting Academy waitlist. And you can do that by going to stringandstory.com forward slash FMQ Academy. It's important to be on the waitlist because it means that you're the first folks that we reach out to when it is time to start enrolling again to make sure that you have the best opportunity possible to jump in and be part of the next cohort. And like I said, there will be two cohorts in 2022, one pretty early in the year and then one later in the year as well. So Rockstar is an absolute huzzah to every single one of you who graduated today. Let me jump over here and make sure I have not missed any wonderful comments. Carmel says, my long arm was delivered and set up yesterday. Looking forward to repeating this course on a long arm on a frame. Yes, yes, yes. Julie says, the workbooks and videos are priceless. And Carmel's also going to be doing long arm prep with me in January. How exciting. 
Yes, yes, yes. All right. Ooh, a one, thank you, Heather, for dropping that link. That was extremely helpful. Um, Rhonda asked a question. She says, tell us more about QuiltCon in Phoenix. Is it like Houston? So QuiltCon is the annual show of the Modern Quilt Guild. It moves around each year. So this coming year, it is in Phoenix at the end of February. It is a stunning modern quilt show with, um, I wonder how many different categories there are. Let's see. Um, I know there's like eight or more categories, so I'm not even going to try to name them. I will mess it up. String and Story is a huge sponsor of QuiltCon this year, and we are, in fact, also sponsoring the modern traditional category, which is super exciting uh, because, as many of you know, I'm pretty passionate about both modern quilting and traditional designs, and so I love that kind of marriage that can happen in the modern traditional category. So we will be there. We'll have a big booth. We're going to be vending. We will have uh, bundles. We will have swag. There will be surprises. It's going to be a lot of fun. So big quilt show. There's classes, there's lectures, and there's tons of vendors. It's going to be an amazing time. Personally, it is my favorite quilt party of the year, and I would love to see you there. So rock stars, like I said, by the very unofficial and yet very exciting power uh, vested in me by me to declare you a free motion quilting rock star. To each of you who graduated today, congratulations. Thank you so much for choosing me to be your teacher. Thank you so much for investing in yourself, not only by joining the academy, but by putting in the time and work and dedication and perseverance to become a free motion quilting rock star. It is absolutely incredible what you've done and having the courage to learn new skills and to try new things and especially to be doing that um, in a group and sharing your work with one another. You are all absolutely phenomenal and I'm thrilled to get to celebrate you. Now, I do just want to let you know, logistically, um, you will be receiving your graduation pin via the mail. I'm hoping that Australia is receiving mail again. I know some of our folks from our last cohort, we had a lot of issues uh, with the Australia mail. So if you're under, if you're down under, we will do our best to get that to you as soon as possible. For the rest of the world, I do believe all the countries are receiving mail from the US. So we will be getting those out before we close for Christmas. They will get to you soon, I hope. We all know about the delays going on right now. But wear it with pride. And especially if you come to QuiltCon, make sure you bring and wear your pen. All right? Rockstars, you were each phenomenal. It has been an honor to be on this journey with you. I'm excited to continue to be in the String and Story Facebook groups together and to continue being connected online. Go have a glass of champagne and celebrate. Cheers. Love you all.